My name is Corbin Bone. I am Director of Soccer in the Community and Club Ambassador. Most specifically, I do camps, summer camps uh, for FC Cincinnati clinics, uh, anything soccer related really that's in the community. So right now there's three different types of camps. The day camps, what we call them, is usually our community camps. So we go out to a location in uh, the greater Cincinnati area and we'll run a youth soccer camp. It's usually Monday to Friday, full day, half day, depending on the family's needs. And that includes all skill levels. The next camp would be an elite camp, which is here at MHTC. It's more for kind of the experienced, competitive player who's looking to maybe break into the academy or really improve their level as a soccer player. So it's a great experience for them to come out and get in a professional environment and uh, with like-minded players that, that are looking for that competition and uh, kind of put themselves to the test. Um, and then the last type of camp we offer is the uh, affiliate and club partner camp, which is in collaboration with a lot of the clubs around the Cincinnati area. And again, a, a way for us to get out into the community and uh, experience soccer with the players uh, around the area, the coaches around the area, all those things. So the day camps, the, the range is wide, right? It's, it's probably five, six to almost 16. So a big group um, of ages. And uh, again, that's for just inclusion of people coming out and, and to want to experience the orange and blue and, and experience a, a, an FC Cincinnati camp. The elite camps uh, are catered more to nine to 13 year olds, which would be the age kind of where like you start to push for the academy and you want to start being serious about soccer and getting into a level of the game that requires uh, discipline, commitment, those kind of things. Soccer is one of those games where you want to have fun but it turns into some competition and you'll see the competitiveness come out in the kids and, and I love that because it means they're passionate about the game and the drill and being there. I think one of the biggest benefits of the camps for, for players to take away would be um, I think friendships, one. Uh, and then confidence as a soccer player it was a big one. I think throughout the week you can see the kids gain and grow in confidence and I think that's huge. One of the things that we tell everyone at the camp is to uh, instill confidence in your teammates and your fellow camper to encourage them even if they make a mistake and so by the end of the week they should be rallying around each other and at the end feel like a better soccer player and gain friends. So being able to give back in that way, uh, I feel a huge sense of pride and, and gratitude that I can be here now and have a platform to, to do that. One, two, three, FCC! My name is Omar Cummins. I'm club ambassador for FC Cincinnati and I work with community relations. I would describe the Soccer Unites program as uh, one that we work in school and after school programs with kids. We also provide gear at the end of the, each program to help uh, facilitate the program so kids and coaches can continue to play as much as they can. We do a PE takeover program, which we work in the, in the PE program with PE teachers and students for all the classes of the day. So from pre-K to all the way up to high school. It's uh, been a very dynamic group. After school program, and we work a lot with the CRCs, Boys and Girls Club, and YMCAs. Um, so we have a lot of partners that we work with that we help to go in and do soccer programming for the kids and after school programs. Then each week we'll have a different program. So whether you're doing um, shooting one week, you do dribbling the other week, you do passing and defending the next week. So each week has a program to help kids build up and build upon what we did the week before. Even among kids that do play, you see where kids will probably play with a, with a ball with like maybe 30, 40 kids, you know, chasing after one ball is not very effective. So when we go in and we have multiple balls, multiple goals, different drills, and just have kids see the game in a different light, in a different way, and they're like, wow, I never experienced soccer like this before. So yeah, it's refreshing to kids to, to see something like that from a different level and let them enjoy it in a different way. This kid one time came up to me and like, you've done the impossible. And I'm like, what's that? <laughs> I was like, you made me love soccer, you know, and I'm like, wow, that's uh, very impactful, that touched me, you know. It's always good because even though you give, the kids, kids are giving back. It's, uh, this program continues to grow and it's been growing, the numbers have been coming back like tremendous. We're 95, 96% of the schools and uh, recreational places that we, we work with, you know, work with us again and we keep adding more schools almost every year. You know, so it's a very fulfilling and now it's getting a little bit more competitive where kids and teachers are asking, okay, where can I get my kids into the next level? You know, and that is the next level. And the next level after that is like keep going up the level of academy and maybe you can make it into the pros. So the interest, uh, it, there's a spark. 
it's there and there's an interest. It's not, it's also yes where we can take it, but also where the kids can take it, you know, because we provide the spark, you now it's for them to, to light it and just like, you know, take it wherever they want to go.